In my last video, I showed you how to make this pattern shape here, and we arranged a few on a tile. So um, for the second part of this, we were going to try and replicate uh, this idea here where we've got some kind of turquoise or marbled looking uh, textures in these various um, shapes and then a gold foil behind it. So I want to show you how designer will make this pretty easy for us. Um, I have a document that's eight and a half by 11 set up. I'm just going to turn off the margins here a moment. And I did that under document setup. And I already prearranged a bunch of these on here, just kind of roughly for the purposes of demonstrating this. So um, I am going to create another rectangle and I want the, sh the size of this to be the same as my whole artboard. So eight and a half by 11 inches. And in this shape, I want to go to the fill tool while it's still selected. And under the fill, I'm gonna go to bitmap. And I've already downloaded some stuff from um, Pixabay. So I've got a gold foil here already. And I'm going to open that up and then we'll just, I think I'll rotate it. And then I'm going to under extend, put it to zero so that it doesn't tile. So uh, let me just expand this out a bit. There wasn't a lot of great choices on Pixabay for gold foils. This really looks like a painted gold piece of something, but it'll work for the purposes of demonstrating this. So let's bring that and position it exactly over our artboard. And then we want to send this to the back. Now I've got a ton of shapes in here, so I'm going to go to layer, arrange, and just say move to the very back. And that's going to quickly drag it to the back. Now I didn't fill everything down here, so you're seeing some little um, spots where I don't have shapes. And let me just get a little perfectionist here and just nudge these in a little bit so that they look a little bit more even. Oops, got a stray shape out there too. Okay, so you saw how we filled our rectangle with the gold foil. We're just gonna do the same thing with all of these shapes. So I'm gonna randomly pick a few of these. I'm gonna hold shift while I just click on some very randomly. And let's do a few more here. I've downloaded three different marble textures in kind of complementary colors. Let's go to the fill tool and type bitmap and let's pick our first one and let's uh, I'm gonna get rid of the tiling again. That's gonna make it one big shape so you're going to want a good resolution image if you're doing this for any sort of commercial or resale purposes or for print. Uh, but for digitals, maybe not quite as imperative. I think this looks pretty cool. All right, so that's one set. Let's go ahead and randomly pick some others. And I want to have it be kind of messy. So let's, let's pick these. Go to the fill tool and to bitmap and I'll pick my next one and I'm also going to put the extend to zero and then use the handles to fill those all up and repeat the process. Let's fill in some of the holes here with a different one. So now I've got way too many of these light ones, so um, I need to kind of change the arrangement. I think this one, I want the fill to be, let's click that one. I want the fill on that one to become make that the light one. 
And then I think we need a one of these to change. And so I would just mess with this a little bit more to um, get it so it looks nice and random. And I might need to have maybe four different um, textures to work with in order to get a nice arrangement. But let's just zoom in a little bit. So I think you can see that Affinity makes it really cool with their, their fill tool where you can fill with any sort of shape or, or sorry, with any sort of pattern or texture um, to make that uh, image that we saw over here. Um, so I think they have actually several different colors in here. I only had picked three, but you get the idea of how you would, how you would manage that. So I hope that's helpful for you.